Hello, everybody. So let's talk about the water flosser. So this is actually a no-name water flosser. It's not a water pick. It's a no-name one. And as silly as that sounds, I like this more. When I was looking into water flossers, probably more so about three months ago, and that is mainly because I was doing some research, and research has shown that using a water flosser is 87, 87, 87% more effective than using the string floss. That to me is huge, especially since I see several patients every day, probably 99% of my patients tell me I don't floss. And the only way to get the gums healthy used to be for us to tell you guys to floss every day. But the water, this thing is amazing, the water flosser. You can use this every day at least, and your um, overall mouth health will look so much better. I can promise you. I have seen such amazing results. And I can say this because I have given, again, I've been doing my own personal research over the past three months, and I have seen patients who are, you know, in their 40s, 50s, but age doesn't really matter anyway. But they pretty much tell me, I'm not going to floss ever, but what can I do to make my gums healthier? Well, you have to floss. That's what I used to say. But I said, actually, would you be willing to try a water flosser? And they kind of looked at me like, what the heck is that? You know, they tried it and they love it. And seeing them only three months later, their gums have improved. They have less plaque, less tartar, less stain, and less cavities. Are you that person where every time you go to the dentist, you have a cavity or two or more? If they're in between the teeth, the only way to uh, reduce those cavities is to clean in between. You cannot clean in, be in between the teeth with, with um, just a toothbrush. You need a water flosser. So let me just talk about it a little bit and I purchased several and this has been my personal favorite. So let me just talk about why I like this one so much. Look at the size, you guys. It's a portable water flosser, meaning it doesn't take up too much room on the counter. I can easily put it underneath the sink, no issues. I don't have to have this big bulky thing on the counter. I don't like a lot of things on my counter because I feel like it looks messy and you can take it anywhere, hence it being portable. So that's really, really nice. I like this one because it came with several attachments, I think four or five. This is actually the one that I like the most. Can everybody see this? Sorry, let me just put my hand behind here. There's like a little brush tip but I like them all. It's just, this is the one that I'm using now. It is so easy to just put the tip on, ooh, as I spray water everywhere, piece of cake. And I like how it's black. You know, I'm getting tired of having white everything. I just like black and, and it actually matches my new bathroom. So that's kind of cool, right? Um, it has different modes. There is a normal, soft and a pulse mode, which is kind of hard to see you guys. Sorry, it's just a little bit shiny. But that is very important because if you if you get one that only has the one mode, it's not going to be powerful enough. I tell my patients, use the most powerful um, setting that you can that doesn't hurt you. If it hurts you, then the gums have some healing to do and that may not be the best mode for you. I use the most powerful because my gums and teeth are healthy, right? So all you have to do is you just have to go here and then normal is selected or if you want soft, soft. If you want um, pulse, pulse. Um, I would turn it on for you, but it would spray water everywhere. The on and the off switch is super easy, just right here. Um, when I first started using it, I kept getting the switches mixed up. So I would think that I would turn it off but I'd be pushing the different modes, thinking that I turned it off, I would take it out of my mouth, water sprayed everywhere. So it takes practice. But another thing that I love about this one is the water container. It is 10 ounces. A lot of them are only five ounces. So pay attention to that because the one that I had bought from Waterpick 
was under 10 ounces. I can't remember how much the water um, um, container held, but it wasn't enough to the point where I would be using the water flosser and halfway through it would run out of water and then I would have to fill it up again. No big deal, right? But why not have, have one that's large enough to do the whole mouth? And then when the water is empty, you know that you've done the whole mouth and then you can just put it aside and then wait for next time. So that I much prefer. Plus it's super easy to fill up the water. If you have a hard time, you know, taking things off, you don't have to. That's, that's another um, reason why I love this one. You don't have to constantly take it off to fill it up. There's a little hole there. You just have to open that up. Try not to spray water here. Put it under the sink like this so the water comes down it just kind of fills up close it you're good to go easy right a lot of them you have to take this off to fill up the water or it's up here somewhere where you have to take off the whole thing to fill it up if you're using it every day that's not something you want to do every day it's just annoying yes you can no big deal but for me it's super annoying so i didn't want that another thing that i love is this easy little place to charge it and the charge lasts i have had this you know knock on wood because i'll probably have to charge it as soon as i stop talking i have had this one for about three weeks i haven't had to charge it once i use it three times a day even more um, after i eat sometimes if i get food like stuck in there I like to eat popcorn and popcorn gets stuck in there. So if I'm having a little snack before work, after work, whatever, I use the water pick and I have not had to charge it yet. So that's why I like this one. Um, what I tell my patients is it's totally up to you. Some patients like something that sits on the counter, easy, that's okay. The ones that sit on the counter are normally tinier, well, like a tinier um, handle. But the, but the actual um, container for the water is larger. So you don't have to fill it up as often. So some people like that. Oh, another thing that I forgot to mention. This one does not take batteries, which you probably figured that out when I talked about charging it. But my last one um, by um, Waterpick, the company, needed batteries. The batteries that came with the water pick were like dollar store batteries, so they didn't last. I think they, they lasted literally two days before you could start to tell that the power was not enough. Do not get one with batteries. It is just not enough power. Get one that is rechargeable because the power lasts, and who wants to have to worry about keep, um, having to keep buying batteries? Nobody, right? So that's it. But um, as I was talking about the countertop ones, they're perfectly fine too, but they're just larger. But some people may like that if you want something larger for the water so you don't have to fill it up as often. And make sure to check out the different tips that it comes with. You don't need six different tips, but why not have six different tips, right? You might like one more than another one. You, you might prefer something a little bit thicker. You might prefer something a little bit thinner that's totally up to you i am happy as long as you're using something but this you guys honestly is super easy it takes practice though when i first started using it i got water everywhere because i was trying to figure out the buttons so what you want to do is fill it up again i would show you guys but i would get water everywhere so i'm just going to explain it to you so you want to fill it up and then you want to put it in your mouth before you turn it on okay because if you turn it on and then put it in the mouth water goes everywhere and you'll be doing this okay it will be hilarious but don't do it put it in the mouth first and what you want to do is hold the tip as close to the teeth as possible in between the teeth because if you hold it like this yes you're getting water in the mouth but it's not going where it needs to be in between the teeth so you want to hold it like this and then move it along like this. See that? Yeah, guys, see that? So you're obviously turning it on, but you want to actually touch the tooth and the gum. So right here. So not like this, or like this, but you want to actually touch the tooth and the gum like this. 
okay? And don't look in the mirror. It's kind of all by feel. Because if you look in the mirror, you want to open. That's just human nature. So try not to look in. Look down and kind of do this, okay? Kind of do that. And make sure to get the inside too. But the inside takes more practice, but it does help to get the outsides. Uh, uh, uh -huh. Okay? But touch the tooth and the gum and move along. So does that help? If you have a water pick, let me know. If you don't, you need one. I'm telling you, you will thank me later. I am going to leave the link for you guys for this one. This is the one that I personally love. And my husband's been using it too, and he he loves it. So this one I love. I have done so much research. I have tried so many, taken so many back. This one is no name. It's not expensive. You will love it. So let me know. And if you would like to ask me questions about it, if you are currently using the water pick, let me know. I would love to hear your thoughts. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much for watching.